I work with a couple of images lately, mostly birds, and before that, flowers. Um, a few years ago, after a, um, a disease, I started looking at the world in more of in terms of permanence and impermanence, and um, and started getting interested in the natural world, things around me. I like the drips because I'm working in a liquid medium and, you know, obey gravity. <laughs> and that's what, the, that's what the drips talk to. I can work in two ways. It's kind of like I want kind of a specificity, like the birds kind of look like the birds. But I also want to kind of destroy them by squirting water on them and making them drip. So at one time they're more specific and and more kind of, you know, they're melting, they're gone away. Birds have a kind of freedom implied because of how they live in the world, you know, they fly. We can't do that. Um, so, so after, after my bout with uh, cancer, I started thinking about impermanence and, and, and beauty and, and how that affects how I see the world. Not that I'm a birder, I guess I've never done that. And, and I've had people come when I've had flowers, something I took a picture of, and they'd say, oh, that's this and this. And they go, really, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> so... But I like the idea of them, and I like the way they look, and I like the way they drip, and, you know, I like the resonance it has for me.